Hello! In this video I want to talk about the Garmin Nuvi SatNav. Um, in my case it's the Nuvi 2599. Now the specific problem I've had with this is trying to um, power it and use it with um, just a mini USB cable. Now why would I want to do this? Well let's say my um, original 12 volt adapter has failed or I don't have uh, a 12 volt socket in the car uh, or I want to just power it from a battery bank for whatever reason. Um, what I've found is if I use a normal mini USB cable um, and plug it into the little port at the back, uh, the other end into um, a battery bank for example, it'll go into PC sync mode and it won't really let me get much further. So I found this strange because the original um, Garmin uh, 12 volt adapter is nothing more, well nothing more on the face of it than a simple mini USB plug uh, which goes to the 12 volt um, adapter. So what's so special about this? Why does this work and yet a normal um, mini USB cable won't? So what I did is I went on eBay and I purchased one of these and it allows you to um, connect a multimeter to these little points here to electrically test um, this unit. So you plug it in there and then you can get a multimeter and put them on these different points here. So what you have is the ground, um, an ID pin, data plus, data minus and uh, the VBUS uh, which is the um, plus 5 um, voltage. So the ground and the VBUS predictably did exactly what you'd expect them to do. Um, the ID pin was not connected to anything. Now the data plus and the data minus um, normally on a mini USB cable or any other USB cable for that matter it's just a straight through connection. Uh, what I found with this is um, that they there was no resistance between the data plus and data minus. In other words they were bridged. So I thought right is that all Garmin have done? Is that the only difference between this and a normal USB tape cable. So I thought, okay, let's test it. So I got a little USB cable. Um, you take the sheath off um, and you find the two cables that you need, the two little wires. Um, in this case, it was a white for uh, the data minus and a green for the data plus. So I simply collected those two together and wrapped a bit of tape around it to see if it works. And you know what? It did. I shall demonstrate. So here's a little battery bank. Here's the Garmin. And if I plug this into here, it should work. There we go. Warning. Do not attempt to enter root information, blah, blah, blah. Agree. And it works. Exactly as it should. So there we go. Now there are... Um, other videos um, on this topic and they direct you to um, a cable that apparently has a microchip in. Um, I don't know specifically what the microchip does. I assume that the original um, Garmin adapter will work with any Garmin unit. Um, I actually suspect that <clears throat> this cable with the microchip in, which I think retails for about um, $15 um, on eBay, doesn't have a microchip in. I think it literally the data plus and the data minus is just bridged internally. Um, but anyway, um, feel free to give my little modification a go. Um, certainly if you're connecting it to a power bank and then to the Garmin Nuvi, I don't think you're going to really damage anything. Um, the power bank won't really use um, the data ports um, and I don't think the Garmin Nuvi is going to be too bothered um, if they're bridged anyway. Um, so that's my little top tip um, to make the Garmin Nuvi work with a normal uh, USB cable. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.